Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Friday, July 29th, 2022. Today we are pulling from the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot Cards. So we're starting off with Justice, and I feel like balance is coming back in, being restored. Uh, I feel like, you know, with the Queen of Potions, they're talking about a nurturer. So they're saying if you've been going through troubled waters, this is a sign of positive things to come. We go over to the Ten of Presents, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So they were showing me the Ten of Cups where it's like unconditional love. So with myself, we have that close connection to God. So we do Shabbat and everything. So the spiritual side of things. So if you have a connect, strong connection with the universe, I feel like you'll be getting signs. Like I've been getting a lot of dragonflies. Um, we have the Six of Needles, which is the Six of Swords. So Sally's putting herself back together after this tumultuous thing, but they're saying you're still going to come forward through this. You made the decision, you know, we, we have traditionally with the woman with the child, they're, they're on a raft and they're moving forward. They're going across the water to the next village. They're moving forward. That's the positive thing. You know, like definitely if like you have someone around you going through something or you're going through something and someone's like your ally, I feel like you're going through it together. You're putting yourselves together and you decided to move forward. Page of potions. The thing is they're showing a child and it's like, you know, partaking in things they shouldn't be. Dangerous things, you know what I mean? I feel like with here, it's like, you know, they're saying like this is like um, a bottle of, you know, it could be booze or something like that. So maybe they're participating in things that are not so, they're not meant for children. Like he's a young adolescent in this. So it's like, kind of looks like Pugsley, they're saying. So I, I feel like with this, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, adolescence, we all went through it, but it's like, this is a totally different time. There's things like fentanyl on the street. You know, you don't know what's made with what anymore. It doesn't matter who you think you know. You gotta go on the side of caution. You know what I mean? I rather, and I'm sure a lot of parents will disagree with this. I would rather my child sit there and do those things in front of me so I know what they're um, taking. You know what I mean? Then them go out in the street and get whatever. You know? My, thank God my kids, you know, raised different in that way. But... Again, I rather, like, if I had, you know, beer or wine and they want to sip, that's one thing. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, you know, we should tell them, like, you should wait till you're older. Obviously, you should do it for, because you, you know what I mean? You savor it. You enjoy it. It's not to the purpose of getting blackout drunk and puking. You know what I mean? I feel like with the full moon, I feel like in the spotlight, it definitely looks like that. Like, you know, he's doing a solo here. And that's exactly what he does in the movie. But I feel like, you know, there's one part where he's sitting there and he's kind of like going through this journey of depression, you know, because he's kind of like, he doesn't feel like life is fulfilling. But he also goes on there and it's like, you know, this is where him and Sally, like, you know, make that connection and they end up being together. So I feel like in that way, I feel like something's flourishing. You know, we see the pumpkins there. So harvest time, I, they were showing, was it? Oh my gosh, I forgot the date. Uh, oh, I can't remember the date. But if you're if interested in the date, go to Instagram. I said the date on there. But I feel like coming into the spotlight, maybe coming into your own. I feel like things, I feel like this could be August full moon. I only say that the harvest full moon because I see the pumpkins. You know what I mean? I know some of them, like, I know I have someone that I, I talk with in Tennessee where, you know, they're already harvesting, you know, not pumpkins per se, but you know what I mean? I feel like that's what they're saying there. But I feel like because of where we are right now with the new moon and the next would be the full moon, I could feel like, you know, the energy shift, you know, we're out of sensitive cancer, lion's gate, pre mercury retrograde. So I feel like that shift, um, we land on the hermit, definitely time to take a step back. Our, I feel like your attention should be on family. I feel like attention should be on yourself, nurturing yourself, yourself, a time for rest and rejuvenation. So I feel like, you know, when, with the traditional meaning of the hermit, where maybe we were putting our sights on love, they're like, no, time to take a step back. Like me, it's like I have to recalibrate and put my energy into something else right now. And it makes total sense for me because I'll always put my children first, you know, because what we're going through. So it's just like, you know, everybody's at different stages in their life. You know, for me, it makes sense. Other people, you know, you do what you feel is best. You know, we can't judge others until we walk in their shoes. We're starting with justice. So you've searched for the truth, which isn't always easy. Seek out the views and opinions of others to give you a clear perspective of what's really going on. 
If you're in the process of making a big decision, be sure to think about all the possible outcomes and keep future per, uh, per, precautions in mind. I feel like it's like it. your decision doesn't only affect you. It affects others. You know what I mean? So I feel like you got to make the best sound decision. You know, but I always make decisions as a family. You know, I always propose everything. My children are a lot older than they are because of what they, their experience is. So I always come together as a family. I will never sit there. Obviously, when I have to be that will make the right decision, I will do so. But it's like when it's something that's lighthearted, we make it as a family. So Queen of Potions. The Queen of Potions is calm, cool, and caring gal who's motivated and compassionate she moves with grace and control through troubled waters sometimes this card could be a sign to listen to your intuition you're more perceptive and capable than you think and i you know one thing it's just like you know i noticed this pattern with it so it's just like is this actually something or is this not you know what i mean so it's coming out now and i was just like well i'd rather that than one the other part of it you know what i mean like i rather that just be you know adolescence and immaturity than anything you know what i mean like i don't want i don't want the opposite so the ten of pe presents ten of pentacles so what they were showing with me earlier in the week they're showing tornadoes so we were in the eye of the tornado and now they're showing that like the tornado isn't completely out of our path but it's moved on and it's like we're picking up the pieces from the aftermath so they were showing someone a female energy she had a basket it was look it looked like a red basket with the black handles and it looks like someone has bumped into her, you know what I mean, at the grocery store and she's picking up her stuff. But she's outside, you know what I mean? So she, I can't, it doesn't look like groceries. It's just the, like different colored objects she's putting back into her basket. So regrouping, you know what I mean? And I definitely feel like that's what they're talking about here. So uh, presents represent material abundance. You've made your dreams come true and are reaping the rewards of your hard work. So we've been getting a lot of that. Now that you have everything you need, it's important to set yourself up for uh, set yourself up for sustained success by managing your income wisely. So we've got that, you know, we get that a lot. You know, you have these things come in. Okay, you know, it's fine to have treats. You know what I mean? But you also have to stay on budget. You also have to do the responsible thing. Pay your bills first before you buy treats. If you buy treats, well, then you know you know you can't buy treats next time because you already bought yourself treats. You know, it's very tempting. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, you got to put it there. You know, you got to sit there and put it on the right things. So six of needles usually indicates you've been through a difficult time. Mm -hmm. You have recently been in conflict with someone or experienced an unexpected, uh, unexpected setback. It's time to pick up the pieces and get on track again. And that's what I felt like with the basket. It's like we're picking up everything and we're getting back there. It's like, you know, like they were saying, follow your intuition. You know, you're more keen than you realize. I feel like, you know what I mean? It's just like we don't want to see those things, but it's like it's kind of like a pen pattern. You know what I mean? And like I just said, like uh, I'd rather that, the immaturity part of it, than the, uh, the what, the, you know, we uh, it, it looks like. So the page of potions goes through life and death mm. with childlike curiosity and, and hopeful enthusiasm. So it's like we take those risks because we think we're invisible. Oh, what's the worst that can happen, right? We don't really... It's like, dang, like, I really didn't think that through. Like, now I think the, that, you know, with certain things. But it's like, back then, I didn't even think it all through. Unleash your creativity. Cha charge forward in pursuit of the things that you're passionate about. Sometimes this card represents the beginnings of new relationships or clo close friends. I feel like, you know, especially singing um, that song, Help is on the Way. Um, I love the, the country twang that he has to it. Um, I feel like it's just like, you know, they could send an ally your way that ends up helping you through this, you know, a blessing in disguise. So the full moon, the moon, the, so we have the full moon coming up at the beginning of August, um, analyze complex or confusion situations you find yourself in. Are things really what they seem to be? Mm, we're getting a lot of that. Is it really what it is? What's going on underneath the surface? Beware of deception and listen to your instincts then know the truth. So we keep getting that, you know, especially with Sa Sally there, you know, but, um, it's like, I definitely feel like it's halting. We're, we're, we're asked to be at a halt, rest and rejuvenation, go inward meditation. You know, I've been meditating and praying on it and it's just like, you know, let's get, let's, let's get to this. Let's fix this. 
You know what I mean? Definitely going back to where with justice, it's like it doesn't only affect you, it affects others. You know, we can't just brush things under the carpet and pretend they're not there. You know, eventually that carpet's going to be a big old lump and it's like you, no matter how much you, you try to push it down, it's going to explode. You know what I mean? It's all going to come out. So it's just like, let's deal with it now. So now's the time to get inspired by, uh, by um, example withdrawal for some quiet time. The hermit calls for a reflection. So do a bit of soul searching. Consider your current uh, position, goals, and dreams. Remember your past. And learn from it as you can bring those lessons with you in a successful future. That's the thing. Like I was saying this with um, Instagram. It's like, you know, I used to be like, why are these things happening to me? And it's just like, you know, we were, and if you don't, you know, this is not on your level and that's not a dig or anything like that. It's just like, maybe you're more of the earthbound things. That's totally fine. If I find people that are, are meant for amazing things in this life, meant to be teachers, meant to help heal others. I feel like you go through a lot of experiences so you could speak from those experiences you know, the worst thing is to getting advice from someone who has no idea what the heck they're talking about. Oh, this, this, this. But you have no idea what, what the emotions and everything and the toll it takes on someone. You're just speaking from your point of view. You know, these doctors and blah, blah, blahs and books and authors that have never been through these experience. Oh, I, I got a degree from here and here. That doesn't mean anything. Experience, experience, experience. You know what I mean? And that's all I could say with it. You know, it is what it is. There's nothing I, I can't erase it. It's a part of me. You know what I mean? You know, but it's like when I do readings, it's like they show me those points of view. They're showing me this. They're showing me these experiences. Does it resonate? Yep, absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's it's touching on base with things. There's a reason for it. So, you know, it's just all you could do is, you know, especially in this, especially in my situation that I was pursuing, I feel like, you know what I mean? It It hit this like wall and I'm fine with that because it's just like, like I said before, it's like people show you who you, they are. And it's just like, you know, I obviously people go through things. You can't really judge things. But it's just like for me, it's just like a no bueno. You know, I just, the back and forth is too much. So I feel like it's just like for me, it's, you know, the highs are high and the lows are low. And it's just like, mm, you know, it, to me, it's just like, it's not giving up. It's just like, you know what, I know when it's time to, you know, be like, you know what, it's time to rethink the situation, you know, so I'm not the same person who I used to be, I don't chase, I attract, so even one of my girlfriends is going through this, and it's just like, well, you know, feel your feelings, and you'll get through it, you know, just like Sally, put yourself back together, you know what I mean, learn from experience, and move forward, that's all you can do, you know, concentrate on the things that make you happy in life, you know, Con like they said, concentrate on your goals, your aspirations, I definitely have goals and aspirations, and things that I need to be concentrating on now and that's what I'm going to do so I feel like that's exactly what they're saying rest rejuvenate regroup and keep pushing forward so I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday July 29th 2022 may the universe bless you good we'll see you for the next daily tarot card bye